light. We see it every day, but have you ever stopped to wonder if it weighs anything? Or better yet, what is light? To simply put it, light is electromagnetic radiation, similar to radio waves, which the human eye can interpret. But as we dig deeper and deeper into the extensive world of physics, we see a much more complicated side of things. Light is made up of photons, which are differing amounts of electromagnetic energy tied up in a tiny space. Photons are essentially conjured up when a lot of energy is transferred to an atom. In return, the electrons spinning around the nucleus skip an energy level. This energy eventually dissipates, and the electrons move back down an energy level. When the electron moves back down to its original level, energy is released in the form of a photon. These photons travel the speed of light, which is 670,616,629 miles per hour. These photons also have no rest mass, so wait a second, there's our answer, right? If weight is mass times gravity, and a photon has zero rest mass, you will always get an outcome of zero weight, since anything multiplied by zero is zero. Well, sure, but photons don't ever stop moving unless they come in contact with something. And once it does come in contact with something, all of that energy is transferred. So maybe it's better to say that photons don't have mass, but rather momentum. So how much momentum does light have? Well, unfortunately, we can't rely on the classic momentum formula to get us our answer. Light is categorized under a branch of physics called quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a very complex physics, where nearly all of the classic physics rules are broken, making it very complicated to understand. Thankfully, the quantum world has its own formula that applies to momentum, and it looks a little something like this. P stands for momentum, and quantum momentum is equal to Planck's constant over the wavelength of light. Planck's constant is a physical constant that is the quantum of action in quantum mechanics. Planck's constant is extremely small, coming out to a number that has over 30 decimal places. But as I don't wish to bore you much longer with the technical math behind the formula, let's go ahead and answer our question. How much momentum does light have? The answer is pretty disappointing, coming out to only a billionth of a pound per square inch. But what seems like barely anything stacks up quickly. What this small number means is that if the whole entire continental United States was experiencing a sunny day, the US would have about an extra 12.5 billion pounds of force being exerted on it. So next time you're out enjoying a sunny day, take it for granted, because you might as well be experiencing a physicist's worst nightmare. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Next week, we'll be taking a look at the question, will Mount Rushmore be here forever? If you would like to see some other content created by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.